everyone this is Chitra and today I will show you an app which I have made recently and I have used Android Studio for making this and the language which I have used for making this is Kotlin and it's a multi-purpose app you can use it for calculator you can use it for timer for getting weather information and also you can view Google map in this okay so let me explain the components so let's begin so first of all you can see there is a login screen if you have an account there then you can log in if you don't have an account then there will be a button uh, or there will be an option to create an account so you will just click on that and it will redirect you to another page for creating an account when you will feed your information in that then you will have to click on register button when you click on this button a verification message or a verification mail will be sent to the email you have provided in this and you just have to open that link by clicking it and your email will be verified and then only you can log in in this app and I have used Firebase for this now after that uh, now you have created an account so you can directly log in Af now when you will log in you will be re redirected to a menu page and that menu page will contain three options so for the first option so first will be for the calculator so there will be all options for calculator multiplication division addition subtraction everything so first is for calculator then second is for your timer you will feed the time and then you can start and stop and you will get the notification also so this was for the timer after that the third option is for the weather so you can see the weather and there will be an option of maps also you can see in here the icon of map so here when you click on this you will uh, it will open google maps so you can see your location nearby places okay so that's all for the layout now let us just see and run the app on android studio so let's begin Okay, so now let's run the app. So, just choose an AVD. I'm choosing Pixel 3 API 23 and then run the app. So the app is installing and it's launching. Okay, so you can see this is the login screen. Now, what you have to do is, if you don't have an account, then you will go to create an account. You will write your information here. So you just have to type the information. You will register it, right? Here, just see, I have not uh, written anything here, so it says please enter valid email. So, you have to enter a valid email here. Then, after registering, when you will register, a message will be sent to your email to verify that. Then, again, go to login page. Now, you can log in with your email account and the password which you have created. So I have already created, so I'll just write that. Okay, so I have typed my email ID and password. Now let's log in. So here we can see three options. First is calculator, then is timer, and then is weather. Right. So let's go to the calculator. So, in the calculator, you can see various numbers, the decimal, backspace, equals, as, minus, multiplication, division, that brackets, and the clear button. 
so let's just type something like uh, anything you can write uh, anything left no no okay so let's see the answer so this is the answer when you will press C this will clear the screen and you can use point also like this and to anything you can write and you can backspace also okay so this was for the calculator then second we have the timer so for timer you have to write the time in minutes so uh, I am writing one minute only uh, now ok wait a minute wait a minute see when we come to the menu page now then we will get a notification login successful now after that I am going to timer one minute done so there is a timer is there any notification no so let's start this so the timer has start so now if we stop it then you will again get a notification that you have stopped the timer otherwise you just can start it and let it finish so when it will finish then you will again get a notification that it's done oh, I'm just skipping this part okay so now just 5 seconds are left so so this shows that this is done and we'll get a message also that time is over done so this was the timer ok so now next is the weather so just open this so you can see the information your place is there and it is updated at this time and this is the minimum temperature it's the maximum temperature then the sunrise, sunset, wind, pressure, humidity and this is google map so just click here so this is the location you can see the nearby places also you can zoom in you can zoom out so this was for the map So this was your app and I am just running it so in this video I was just going to run this only and I explain the code in some other video so this is all for today thank you guys and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't thank you